Welcome to the Breeders' Cup News Minute for November 3rd. I'm Ray Pollock. No major developments today in any of the 14 Breeders' Cup races, and a reminder that scratch time is 8 a.m. Eastern on race day, both Friday and Saturday. Yesterday, we mentioned that Happy Saver, one of eight horses entered in the $6 million Classic Saturday, had sustained a quarter crack and a hoof. The area was patched, and Happy Saver jogged on Thursday morning to the satisfaction of trainer Todd Pletcher. The Future Stars Friday program kicks off with the first post of 11.55 a.m. Eastern. There are five non-Breeders' Cup races, including the Great Two Thoroughbred Aftercare Alliance Stakes. That goes at 2.15 p.m. The first Breeders' Cup race is the Juvenile Turf Sprint at 3 p.m., followed by the Juvenile Phillies, the Juvenile Phillies Turf, the Juvenile at 5 p.m., and finally the Juvenile Turf at 5.40 FanDuel TV, formerly TVG, which has done sensational work yet again with its Breakfast at the Breeders' Cup program, will broadcast all of the Keeneland and Breeders' Cup races. The USA Network begins its coverage with the NBC team beginning at 2 p.m. Eastern on Friday. Saturday's 12 race card begins at 10.30 a.m. Eastern with the first Breeders' Cup race, the Philly and Mare Sprint, going as the third at 11.50. That's followed by the Turf Sprint, Dirt Mile, Philly and Mare Turf, Sprint, Mile, Distaff, Turf, and finally, the Longines Breeders' Cup Classic featuring Flightline at 540. Once again, FanDuel TV will show all of the races from Keeneland with USA Network beginning its Saturday coverage at 1 p.m. It will switch to NBC and Peacock at 3.30 p.m. and run through the Classic. Larry Colmas will be on the mic for all the Breeders' Cup races. That's it for today's News Minute. We'll see you tomorrow.